so at 5.7 we've been working a lot on uh, revisiting the interface and trying to bring in some of the ideas we introduced with Composer, um, giving multiple ways to edit the same content, complement the in-context editing experience that has always worked pretty well with Concrete 5 with a more traditional form-based structure. And uh, you know, dialing that experience in so it makes sense is something that we're, we're still playing with, but um, put a couple of thoughts together uh, based on feedback and, and some meetings here and wanted to just quickly show them off today. So what do we got, Andy? All right, so today we're gonna talk a little bit about page types in 5.7 and how they can uh, interact with what we've called Composer in the past or whether they can uh, just dump you right into editing like you know and love in Concrete 5. Uh, in uh, 5.7 by default right now, we've got uh, two page types installed. We've got the basic page and the blog entry page, which uh, if you use Concrete, that'll probably be no, you'll be, uh, sure. You will. It's a blog entry. Yeah, there exactly. Right. Um, and uh, unlike our previous demo, uh, in the current build, if you click page, it just dumps you right into edit mode on that page. Sweet. And this is a setting that you can control at the page type level. So with the blog entry page type, we're going to drop you into a compose form. And on the regular basic page, we just drop you right into edit mode. So you know you can come in here, uh, stuff. content. That makes sense. Now, as a developer, you can say, "Look, these page types are more of an object. You know, I'm making this this more complicated record. I want them to add all these various custom attributes. I'm going to send you to the composer view first, or this is just more of an empty playground to throw stuff on the page." Here you go to in context editing. It's up to you. That's right. And uh, if I come into the sitemap, you can see that this is my uh, this is my page draft that I just created. Mm -hmm. So I uh, didn't have to choose where this thing was going to live because um, it doesn't have to live. Anywhere. You can put it into a safe area and work on it till you get it just right. Get that staging area that people expect. And uh, part of the other thing that's cool is uh, if you click on this guy, you will go right into Composer for this page. So these are sort of the basic fields that you can set. You can set this view up uh, to your heart's uh, desire. Um, and uh, and use this from here, you'll notice we haven't chosen where this page is going to live. We haven't even given it a name. So if we were to try and publish it now, we would get uh, we'd get some errors. I know where it goes. Um, but by switching this this uh, settings icon around, before you click settings, you get the tab, and you have to click on the tab to get somewhere. So there's some extra clicks, which is not necessarily the end of the world. It's intuitive, but we're trying to teach the casual user that this this gear icon is really the chassis of the car. This is the under side of, of the vehicle, you're getting into how things work. That includes all the composer fields, the design, the SEO, all this other stuff on the side. Or you can just click back to edit mode, right? That's right. So uh, we've changed around some of these buttons. We haven't really done too much with their functionality, but I think we've sort of made it a lot clearer what they do. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, rather than just saying save and exit, which didn't really, ma really make any yeah. sense, uh, we have edit mode as the label of this button, oh. which dumps you back into the in-context mode, and it saves your, your progress along the way. So you'll notice that uh, you can see that the title of my page, which I set up in Composer, is in there. Uh, the URL slug has been right. Save. Savings happening. As Savings go. happening as we go. And uh, finally, we are in draft mode, but if I come into here, you can see that uh, since I have set the target location of this page and uh, I've set the title, um, I should be able to. You can misspell it. You know, right? I should be able to publish the page right from here, and here it will go. actually publish it into the about section. Sweet. Um, much like how Composer works. So if I go into blog entry, um, instead of dumping me into in-context mode, it does create the draft the same way, mm -hmm. but it takes me into Composer mode. Mm -hmm. uh, this, com this page type is set up to automatically be published underneath blog, so I could just um, hit publish right now, and it will tell me that I need a, a valid page name, and I need a valid image file, because that's what this page type has been set up to require, uh -huh. but it doesn't need, I don't need to tell you where this page is going to live, because the the page type is already set up yeah. uh, for where it goes. Right. Um, and, and can you uh, just switch to edit mode? I can. Boom. So and we've can got. You switch back to composer mode? I sure can. Boom. So switch it's much switch easier. That if I click the icon up in the corner, does it switch to edit mode? It will take you out of composer mode. That will take you into there. This will also put you back into. Well, it should take you well, back into edit mode. That would be the idea. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so much easier uh, moving back and forth uh, with the idea that if you leave composer mode, everything that you should have to do um, 
the can be, to set up a page to be published can be done through composer mode or just through the page. So uh, if I discard this draft um, and I come in and make a basic page, if I come into this empty page and attempt to just publish it right away, it's going to say you have to choose where this is going to go. You have to give it a name. And then you can say, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into the location. I'm going to say this is going to live underneath blog. I'm going to save those changes. Um, All of which we might do from that pop-up in time. Yeah, no, totally, yeah, and or you know, any sort button. of a, yeah. Um, and then uh, oops, do this in here. Uh oh, that's probably my fault. We're great. Yeah. And then it will publish the page. So. In general, uh, much quicker switching between the two modes, much less uh, forcing you into either mode um, or into one particular mode, um, really letting you, uh, an administrator, set up the type of experience they want. But regardless of which one they choose, uh, should be easy to get yeah, around. Yeah, quick, quick. Front end, back end, back end, front end. Yep. Just that simple. Just that easy. That's what we're thinking. Thanks, guys.